like any other South African, particularly uh, given that as a father of a little girl, I heard in the most disturbing fashion the news of the passing of Nehemiah, immediately reached out to the family and the community and the ward councillor, had an opportunity to share my deep condolences to the father and to express just the shared grief and the pain that we feel as South Africans. Furthermore, like in any instance, he expressed to me that he wants justice. And so today we've come here to the Cape Town Central Police Station to open a criminal case of culpable homicide against Minister uh, of Electricity, Khosienzo Ramakopa, and the Minister of Public Enterprises, Pravin Godan. Cannot be that when you do everything to look after your child, when you put all resources possible, regardless of the state at which this child was born with a virus, that when all help you need it, the state fails you. And so I want to send my deep condolences to the family. There's a constitutional imperative which says everyone has the right to life. When you don't have energy and you've got a little child who's on an oxygen tank that fails because of load shedding, you are undermining that, lie, that right. Secondly, the court, the Gauteng North High Court, has already ruled that the state must provide alternative energy in healthcare facilities. They are actually, instead of complying with that court order, made a decision to oppose it. How immoral can this government be that they simply can't even look after the people? Yet, when they, the ministers, needed generators, they successfully managed to find the money, put up generators, ensure that they live in comfort when our people are dying. So today, we have a government that clearly is against the people. And as I stand here today as a father, as a citizen, as leader of Build One South Africa, we are here to say we must act on behalf of the people of this country. And we are certainly laying that charge. This is no different to the failure to provide ARVs that led to so many people who were HIV infected to die. So when you fail to provide load shedding, it is the fundamental thing that makes sure the rights, such as the right to health, the right to life, are protected. And it's not undermining the fact that businesses must continue to run and all other social impact. But in this instance, this government has failed to protect the lives of citizens and all citizens must stand together to take action against the state. Same could have been said for the case against Jacob Zuma. We started the journey. I opened the criminal case even on Gandla, and we proceeded. And we worked our way through. Now he must face accountability. It will be the same in this instance. I opened the case to make sure this load shedding issue must be fought. You know very well we take the case against Andre de Reita. I've been following up with the Hawks. We continue to fight the case. This one, I will not even uh, shy away from. We will use any and all available means so that we take the action that is required for justice.